Hello from Universal Studios Orlando. As soon as we come up to the arches, we already see some HHN things all up and around. So today is Saturday and HHN starts on Friday. Very exciting coming up. There's a whole bunch of updates inside the park. So let's go check them out. As soon as we walk in, they have this giant pumpkin. This is amazing. So there's vines everywhere, locked off back there. So what if somebody, you know, came up and is standing in front of the pumpkin here, like inside, like the pumpkin lord yelling down at people as they walk through this little scare zone area? That would be pretty amazing, pretty scary to look up and see that. But yeah, Owen's already noticing as you get closer, these thorns, got a spongy but yes this is so amazing looking you can see the inside of the pumpkin kind of has like octopus vibes as it's coming out like that that's exciting let's go around this is really neat this is the next one over and you can see a witch's broom right inside the dirt growing around the vines a witch's hat pumpkins above with a cauldron it's all tying in together now so this front one has lots of pumpkins of course with the pumpkin king i see the witches tie in which there's going to be like a witches theme right in front of fast and furious and up here there's like a little gravestone which ties in with the uh scare zone over here to the right over by born spectacular with the cemetery so it's like they're all tying again i get together very nicely and so here pumpkins and witches and this gravestone right there and then of course in front of the mummy they have all kinds of farm type stuff too along with the sugar candy company over here we see a 31 on this fence for hhn 31 as well as october 31st for halloween day all these great pumpkins over here inside the netting so many pumpkins in here have you found boo yet where's the boo pumpkin oh i found him he was right up there oh my goodness let's see if we can get close up on him there it is there is boo <laughs> he's right there in the middle of the netting right there there is boo and of course there is going to be lots of boo memorabilia merch that you can buy at hhn this year all right so now we're in the next little section you can see hands and little voodoo dolls as well as these that you would cut the corn as it dries oh yeah dead crows oh that's scary there's the corn and then up he goes to this scary scarecrow with a little crow on his shoulder. And here's the next little area here and you can see the candy tying in. So when you see over here all the different little candies and the chocolate bars over here, this is nice. And then they have this, of course, butcher knife, which they do have a meets meat little scary section of treats that you can buy that we're going to walk over to a little bit later. You see these little bags of candy for trick or treat. Yes, little masks over here. Oh, yeah, look, you can see that these jars are going to light up. It's lighting up right now, but it's still daylight. Can't really see it, but that's exciting. Looks good. It's beginning to look a lot like poor nights everywhere we look. And yes, all of these switch pads will be completely filled up. For these houses, they will be extremely long lines. I highly suggest buying express for these houses so you can get through all the ones that you want to do when you're here for HHN. We always do buy the express. Sometimes you can get through them so early that you can go through another line. If you, usually we get the express where you can only go through it uh, one house per, one time per house. And then hopefully there's enough time left over through the night that you can do like your favorite house again. But definitely recommend getting express. Coming up on the tribute store is looking very good. Switched over from the summer tribute store 
Yeah, so here's the movie theater. Closed. Looking nice. Yeah, over here they have some papers into the window. The Dead Coconut Club grand opening coming soon. Mayor announces the of the old cursed movie theater. Oh, okay. Yeah, so the mayor announces the funding by the Loki Candy Maker. Thank you for your thoughtful donations. 11 month renovation project. Playhouse into a brand new movie, Picture Cinema. Yeah, and these get kind of more blurry to actually read. So Loki Theater closes its doors after 58 years. Poison scandal. Okay, so this is Dracula. Mysteriously vanished local theater owners. Mysterious occurrences linked to poisonous concession stands. Ooh. Current suspects at large and wanted for questioning. And then that says grand opening tribute theater. And then a picture of the outside here of this tribute store. Can't wait for it to actually open. Brayden and my little baby Owen just went into the entrance of Rip Ride Rocket. He has been tall enough to ride this for a little while, but scared. And I don't blame him because I'm scared to ride it because of that straight up part right there. And they just went in the queue. Oh my goodness. Owen was so nervous, but I'm proud of him for trying it. Brayden's, Brayden loves this ride. It's his absolute favorite. And so he said that if Owen read it, it would be his favorite too. So we'll see after they get off. If Owen agrees that it is his favorite, let's see if we can catch them getting on the ride. It is only a 20 minute standby right now and they use their express to go ahead and get on. Up, 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 up. Oh my goodness. There's no way of really knowing which one is them because you can't see the people in there really. Oh, and you just got off of Rip Ride Rocket. Rocket. How was it? What do you think about it? Fast. Very fast was the best part. Um, going down. Going down? Was the going up part very scary? No. No? What song did you have? Something Biscuit. Something Biscuit? Yeah, it was Lip Biscuit rolling. Yeah? <laughs> what song did you have? Same thing. Oh, okay. So you loved it? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you don't seem too excited about it. We're gonna ride it again. You wanna ride it again? Yeah. <laughs> oh, goodness. He, said he didn't like it, he loved it. Oh. <laughs> we have made it to Meets Meets. And we have found out that you can get fried zombie brains. Meets Meets. And it has fried zombie brains. Spicy fried chicken. Yeah. Spoiled angry bear meat, sour beating gummy hearts. So they have had these beating gummy hearts before in the tribute store. Fresh ground princess. Oh my goodness. All right. So yeah, let's go take a look and see if anything else has changed. Back in the meat locker. Meats, meats. Oh yeah, this is probably where the beating hearts are going to be. Huh. So they have a sign. They have some meat hanging now. For some reason I thought they was going to have like other things hanging up here as well. Alright. And then this one over here has some signage as well. Very, very small little booth over here. But I guess you can get specialty cocktails. Bloody Mary's over here. And that's it. It's just like a one person stand here. Oh yeah, look over here has more signage on the opposite side of this meat locker. 
do not enter. All right. Yeah. All right, so we're here right by Bruce the Shark. They have these giant roots here. Ooh, so skeleton bones everywhere. Yes, lots of foliage. More bones down below with the rocks and the wood. Ooh, that one over there looks scary. I like that one. Very good place to hide. Come out and scare someone. Over here, some more bones and things. I like it. Lots of lighting above. All right, so more symbols over here, as well as bones all through the bottom, like the sacrifice, I'm assuming. Cauldron, lots more corn stalks over here. They have added a scary figure under the tarp right there. It's coming along. And across the way, they have come up with some more props as well. Another rock formation here with a whole bunch of skull and crossbones all the way across. And the backside is just rocks right in front of Fast and Furious exit. And then here's another one. Right here. With the tree. Oh yeah, it's like little caves. 25 minutes, all right, we'll go there after we yes. Yeah, this thing over here gives like Viking vibes. Little skull with like butterfly wings and a crown. Okay, that looks kind of like gorilla, like Kong. Antlers. Going over here in front of all the boat, the boat dock over here. All right, we got a dragon. Some more skulls, some rams here, human skull bones. Hmm. All right, made it over here. We made it over here towards this little photo op here the Chucky, the good guys. I don't know if someone's gonna be popping out right there or maybe you can just stand behind there and get your photo taken. Like you're one of the good guy dolls. Hmm. Probably. Closed curtain behind you. Yeah, you would just walk up, get your photo taken, and then move on on your way. Over here by this giant pumpkin food booth, they don't have any menus just yet. I'm really hoping they have something yummy pumpkin flavored over here. Ooh, let's go around the side and see if they have anything on this menu. By the register. No, nothing over here just yet. All right. So this is a good guy's food booth. And look at this burger, the good guy's burger. That looks delicious and messy at the same time. <laughs> is it just drizzled with that ketchup like all over the top of it? What is it? Oh yeah, maybe it's, oh, is it a donut burger? I can't tell. Yeah, like little candy stuff on top. Hmm. It would be nice if they had like voodoo donuts inside the park and not just out. But backlit with red and the scary blood prints. <laughs> Eats and treats, the good guys burger. Wanna play beignet? Ooh, I love beignets. Chili Lee Ray, do they all rhyme? <laughs> All right, Dirty Valentine. Oh, that's the drink. Going around to the register. Yeah, the same things. So the one to play beignet is hot chicken, pimento cheese stuffed beignet stuffed with scallions and hot and spicy seasoning. That actually sounds really good. Hmm. Lots of things that I would like to try at HHN this year. And now we're in the Central Park area. It looks like they have some neat little fencing up here. 
and they have this with a little hole in it that's conspicuous right there. These look like little outhouses. Huh, interesting. Very, smells like wood <laughs> over here. Like a wagon. That's fun. Yeah, they look like little outhouses. <laughs> little types of barns. Looks like a red barn. Hmm, maybe they're still adding to this. I don't know. So up above, they also have this green truck over here. Oh yeah, more fencing, more fencing. Yeah, this cute green truck over here. So still more like farm theming over here. Oh yeah, little windmill. And then over here, lots of bright colors. So all, all of a sudden you're out of the farm. <laughs> So they have this bright food booth right here with the skulls. It has drinks as well as some food items. Popcorn. Popcorn for 25 bucks? What? I want to see a picture of that. $25 popcorn. I, I don't know. All right, they have street tacos. But over here, here very bright, very pretty. I like it. Then over here by the fountain, this is beautiful. I love it. Very nice. And now we are in Iowa, Islands of Adventure. As soon as you walk in, there's construction. A whole lot of scaffolding. All around it, construction walls. You can't go past this Christmas store here. You have to go the other way around. So it looks like they're just working on the outside of the building, maybe just painting, doing a tiny bit of updates. There it is. Port of Entry Christmas. Just working on it. You can still go inside the store. We are in Hogwarts now. You can see the projections on the castle from way back here. Hagrid's motorbike adventure is a hundred and five minute wait right now. We are now inside the cave in Jurassic Park, the playground area. We just got off of Tyrannodon Flyers. It's at a 30 minute wait time and we were very pleasantly surprised to have a complete walk on to that ride. That ride is very fun. I don't think it should just be for kids because you have to have a child in order to ride it. But it was very fun, very pleasantly surprised to be able to ride that thing with zero weight. So now we're inside a cave. Like ground is so wet. Yes, uh, these little netting areas and all the mist. Walk across the bubbling brook. Ooh, it's like Halloween Horror Nights with all the fog. The geysers going around. can go so many different ways. Exit this way, exit this way, <laughs> just keep going around and around. But be careful because the floor is wet. <laughs> we just made a circle. Right now I'm over here by Blue Toast Barge. Brandon and the kids really wanted to ride it today. So they got on and I'm going to dump them because I didn't feel like getting absolutely so so the kids put on ponchos, Brandon put on his Ranko, and they are on now. Is it only a five minute standby wait time? Pretty incredible. It is very close to closing time. I think it's around 8.30. So I'm just standing over here and get their picture from this angle. And that was that! 
them. I think I heard Owen yell. Yeah, there they are. Nadia and Owen in the ponchos and then Brandon. We had a great time at Universal looking at some of the Halloween Horror Nights updates and then coming over here to Evans of Adventure for a short time before closing. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And now, it's your family time. Bye!